Hi everyone, in the following video we will go over the process of how to add translation to your theme. First of all, what we recommend to do is go over to docs.flowthemes.com and here on the left hand side you'll see some documentation related to your template. On the left hand side you'll see a menu item where it says translate theme. Click here and you'll see some of the process details and some of the plugins that we recommend to use to translate your template. The plugin that we're going to talk about right now is the Code Styling Localization WordPress plugin. So what we recommend to do is just copy the title of this plugin, go to google.com and paste it within your search. Once you've found the plugin, go to the plugin page, download this plugin, and install it to your template. Once you've installed this plugin, make sure that it's been activated, and then you can start translating your template. To start translating the template, go over to Tools, and you'll see this plugin already activated, and it's under Localization. Click on Localization, and you'll be taken to this page here. Scroll down the page until you find the title of your template, and we're looking for Blanco. So here I have Blanco. And what we want to do is just add some translation buttons to it. So let's click on Edit. And assuming that your WordPress has already been installed in your native language, uh, this should not be a, a problem for you. If WordPress has not been installed in your native language, you can change those settings within your WordPress settings. So what we have here is a basic blog post with some tags and buttons that we want to change our titles. So first of all, what we want to do is change this title here where it says tags. Be sure to select non-case sensitive and start typing in tags. So here I have tags already written. You click on edit and here you add the translation. So let's just say I want to add it as tags. This will be my hypothetical gibberish translation. Once I've added my translation, click on save. Once it's been saved, you'll see the translation here. Then what you'll need to do is click on this button here where it says generate MO file, and this will activate the settings. And then go back to your template, refresh this page, and you'll see that our translation happened. Next up, we start translating some of our buttons here, like our next post, previous post, and related posts. So let's go back to our translation area, and we'll type in next. And we see here we have several next buttons. We have this button here. And anytime you see several options, be sure to translate all of them because uh, some of them duplicate on various pages. So to make sure that you cover the entire website, make sure to translate these buttons everywhere. So let's just click on edit here. And we'll need to type in, let's just type in next us. We'll click on save. Next we have this area here, which is the actual button. Alright, so we copy and paste this area here because it is related specifically to this button and it does give a specific function to it. So what we'll need to do is just change this title here where it says next. Let's just type in next us again and we'll click on save. And at this point, we're good to go. Um, let's go ahead and search our next area where it says previous. Here we have previous. So let's go ahead and edit this. We'll copy and paste this here. Here's our title where it says previous. So let's just type in TIS at the end, we'll click on save. 
our translation has been added and let's edit this previous button as well. And we'll add TIS at the end here as well. So let's click save. And now we can go ahead and generate our MO file. All right, so let's go to the front end of our website. We'll refresh this page. And here we have Nextus and we have Previstus. So these, this is the translation for our gibberish language. Related posts, uh, the same process applies. We start typing in related posts. As you see here, we have several related posts options. Um, the related posts shown on this blog page is actually this related posts um, because you'll see that it's not capitalized and um, it is case sensitive at this point. Uh, so once again, anytime you want to translate a specific word or key phrase and it comes up several times within the backend, be sure to update all of these areas. So this is uh, pretty much everything in terms of what you need to do and how to update the translation on the website, how to update buttons, keywords, and so forth. So we do hope this video helps, and if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.